Hello, this is Doug Cooper, University of Connecticut, and this is a presentation on how to give a technical presentation. We begin by noticing that the title slide of a talk includes the title of the talk, as well as the authors and their affiliations. Next comes an introduction slide. This is where you tell the audience what it is you're going to tell them. There's an old saying, tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. It's a good saying. Follow it. So in talking about how to give a talk, we're going to talk about the organization, the technical content, communication issues, visuals to use, and asking and answering questions. Since this is a talk on how to give a talk, now we get to the meat of the subject. As I had indicated, we need to give a title with authors and an introduction. Then we include the body with content. That's what I'm showing you now. Then we're going to have conclusions and then ask and answer questions. You only have a limited amount of time to present your talk. So focus on the key ideas. Make sure that you're presenting them in a clear, organized, professional, targeted fashion. You're communicating to your audience and you're using this talk this time to do that. Make sure your thoughts are presented in a logical order. Make sure you're emphasizing the important material. Again, you only are going to have a limited amount of time. Try to present things in an attractive fashion, paying attention to fonts, paying attention to color, paying attention to organization, paying attention to graphics. For an engineering talk, you presumably have some premise, some objective, some hypothesis, a focused subject that you're trying to communicate to your audience. Avoid superficial. I've never heard an audience member complain that a talk was too deep or too intense. Often I've heard that it was too shallow or too, or too superficial. So don't be afraid to dig in. Focus on the engineering concepts, the engineering principles, and communicate the key ideas in a very concise, focused fashion to your audience. A talk is all about communication. You've got to have practiced it. You've got to be vigorous and well-paced. You're trying to, you're putting on a show for your audience. If you're doing it in person, look at the Look at the people, look at the audience, make eye contact. Do not be looking at the board. Do not be putting your back to your audience. Make sure your voice is projecting well. Don't talk to the screen. Talk to the people. And it's not a speech. It's a talk. You are talking to them. You are teaching them about your subject. A technical presentation is both verbal communication as well as visual communication. You have slides. Every place you go is going to have a PowerPoint software with projector. And so I suggest you always use PowerPoint. If you want to use something else, it's up to you. But be prepared. Use quality images. Use quality graphics. Make sure that if you've taken these images or graphics from someplace, you attribute and provide references, even at the end of your talk. The content should include your attributions and your references. Too much animation is a bad thing. I'm not a supporter of a lot of animation and dancing graphics. I've seen it used well, but more often than not, I've seen it be very distracting. Make sure your slides are not too crowded and not too sparse. Make sure the font size is appropriate for easy reading. You don't need to put absolutely everything you're going to say on the slides. If your audience can read what it is you're going to say, there's really no point for you to be there. These should just be guides to guide your talk. And then every talk I've ever been to has had an allotted amount of time. Make sure you stay within that allotted time, which means practicing. So I've told you what I'm going to tell you. I've just told you, and now I'm going to summarize. In conclusion, make sure a talk is organized. For a technical talk, you should have a hypothesis, a premise, a subject that you're focusing on. Include technical depth. 
engineering subject matter. Make sure you communicate effectively. You've got both visual as well as, as oral um, tools to use. Make sure you use, take advantage of those visuals. Make sure they're quality. Be sure to attribute or list your citations or references whenever you're, whenever you're using visuals. Also, the information that you've collected needs to be properly cited. And then when you're all done, ask for questions. And so now, does anyone have any questions about how to give a technical presentation?